Hello everybody, welcome back. Today our topic is acute myocarditis. What is acute myocarditis? Myocarditis is an acute inflammation of the myocardium due to infectious cause or in very rare cases due to a non-infectious cause. Acute myocarditis is an acute illness. Patient with acute myocarditis has fever, influenza-like symptoms. The patient is dyspneic, has palpitations. Patient with acute myocarditis in very rare cases has unspecific chest pain. A chest pain which is unspecific. Has pulmonary symptoms. Other symptoms are non-specific. What are the different etiologies of acute myocarditis? These etiologies include viral cause, bacterial cause, toxic waste cause. What about the clinical signs of acute myocarditis? Pulmonary rails, S3 gallop with left heart failure, hepatomegaly, turgid jugglers with right heart failure, global heart failure, mitral regurgitation, tricuspid regurgitation, and edema which is very rare. Also from the clinical signs of acute myocarditis is pulmonary edema or cardiogenic shock. So now we've mentioned the etiologies and the clinical signs. Let's talk about the laboratory findings. The laboratory findings include an elevated ESR and erythrocyte sedimentation rate, elevated CRP, and elevated fibrinogen. Troponin I and troponin T are elevated in plateau. It is a non specific curve as in myocardial infarction. The BNP, which is the brain natriuretic peptide, is elevated and when it's elevated it is a prognostic factor. Hemoleucogram shows an elevated leukocyte level. Sometimes this hemoleucogram shows anemia. What are the ECG changes that can be seen on the ECG of an acute myocarditis patient. First is an STT morphologic change, which are non specific. Intraventricular conduction disturbances, atrioventricular block, and ventricular arrhythmias. What are the echo findings in the case of acute myocarditis? So the echo findings that can be seen in the case of a patient with acute myocarditis, these include a normal echo finding, a mild alteration of very subtle indices of the left ventricle or and the right ventricle failure, a moderate alteration of the ejection fraction, severe alteration of the systolic function, critical dysfunction, imminence of cardiac arrest, mitral or and tricuspid regurgitation, a pericardial effusion, which is usually mild, monitoring of the recovery, very rare alteration of the left ventricle, right ventricle function. What about the prognosis of acute myocarditis? The prognosis of acute myocarditis is usually good. The progression to critical acute heart failure and death is rare, meaning that the prognosis of acute myocarditis and its progression to a critical acute heart failure leading to death is rare. Progression of acute myocarditis to dilated cardiomyopathy is one of the prognoses of acute myocarditis. Thank you for watching and looking forward to see you in the next video with a new topic.